watching, we will be continuing our talk about Casper and, more importantly, how it's enforced. To understand enforcement, we will look at how validators vote, how it's enforced, and what are the slashing conditions. So, when validators vote on a pending or prepared block, they're paying to make a vote, essentially a bet. This bet will get paid out if the block is added to the blockchain. Having validators pay to vote incentivizes them to choose the block most likely to be added to the blockchain and discourages pointless voting. Also, when validators vote, they must reference previous blocks. For prepare, validators reference their last prepare and commit block. For commit, validators reference their last prepare block. These references are the links of the blockchain. Now that we know how validators vote, we must see how it is enforced. Casper is a smart contract with game theory based rules that allow for proof of stake consensus. But Casper doesn't enforce its own rules. And there aren't any special validators with authority to slash bad validators. Instead, both validators and Casper play a role in enforcement as validators can report bad validators, and Casper will check and deem the judgment if said validator broke any of the slashing conditions. For now, there are four slashing conditions. First, the commit requirement, where to commit a block, there must be at least two-thirds prepares. In order to have two-thirds prepares, at least two-thirds of validators must reference the same prepare block. Also, when making a prepare, validators must reference their last commit block, which should be consistent with the reference of their last prepare block. Lastly, validators cannot prepare more than once per a position on the blockchain. These slashing conditions are all that is needed to ensure proof-of-stake consensus with at least two-thirds of validators' votes referencing the previous prepare and commit blocks, creating the blockchain. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe if you found it informative. Also, please share this video with anyone that you think would value understanding Ethereum's proof of stake. And Casper's release date was pushed back and is expected in the Serenity update in 2018. So I'll update this explanation later. So please do subscribe. Thanks. Until next.